Good Saturday morning. Let's start off with the tropics. So we're watching this tropical wave now known as Invest 98L. It has a lot more showers and thunderstorms uh, that are popping up, but it's still disorganized. It will, though, gather itself together, especially once it gets closer to the Lesser Antilles. So we're talking about Monday, Tuesday time frame. That's when we could be talking about at least a tropical depression. And then it's going to quickly develop into something stronger, at least a tropical tropical storm or even a category one hurricane near the areas around the greater Antilles between the British Virgin Islands and Hispaniola by midweek next week. So there's that 80% chance for formation. Now again, this polygon is not showing the track. It's just showing where it could be the development happening, right? So it's something we'll have to watch. Of course, there's a lot of uncertainty right now, but as far as the spaghetti plot models, the one thing that's certain is it's going to make a turn towards the north. The thing is, is when does that happen? Will it happen before it gets near the Bahamas? Will it happen over the Greater Antilles? Those are questions we don't know yet, but once we start to see this organized, the models will have a better picture of that trajectory. But of course, this is something we have to monitor, right? Uh, given the fact of where it is potentially going. And uh, the tropical depression could develop into early next week. I pointed that out. Another key point that it's going to be near the Lesser Antilles by Tuesday, more than likely the Leeward Islands region. The Caribbean certainly needs to be on alert, including the Bahamas. For Florida, we should just monitor for the time being. We have about seven to ten days out to do that here locally. So this morning it is muggy, partly cloudy. It is nice and quiet. We do expect scattered thunderstorms specifically in the Treasure Coast this afternoon. We're still under a southwest wind and that's what's bringing up the heat indices once again between 105 to 110 degrees. No rain out there, just a few clouds. And here we go on the Hypercast, you see that flow uh, headed from the west. The east wind tries to return, but not so much today. It's more so tomorrow. I will say the coverage of thunderstorms is a little isolated for the Palm Beaches, but more scattered later on in the day and evening for the Treasure Coast. And tomorrow, notice that sea breeze starting to develop. You kind of notice that east wind because those thunderstorms start to track westward. So tomorrow, more of that tra tra uh, transition day uh, from west wind to east wind, which means means we won't be quite as hot and so back to school temperatures of course will be in the low 90s but the heat index should be much lower could be a little hazy also early next week.